This is DW News live from Berlin. Slow but steady progress on the road to Mosul. These, I'm Sarah Kelly. Thank you very much for joining us. Iraqi forces are making slow but steady progress on the second day of their offensive to retake Mosul. The so-called Islamic State have held Iraq's second city for the past two years, and they are making the Iraqi forces' progress as difficult as possible. IS has littered the road to Mosul with booby traps and roadside bombs. The message from the military? The battle is only just beginning. For more, let's bring in now journalist Vladimir von Wilgenberg, who is near the northern Iraqi city of Bashika, where there is a military base there. So, um, Vladimir, it's more than a day into the battle to retake Mosul. Just give us a sense of the latest on the ground. So how are they defending the area? Well, for your fear, another challenge is that IS might exploit the flow of people fleeing as refugees, that they might themselves seek cover amid the civilians. How is that being dealt with? In other news, a 72-hour ceasefire has been agreed in Yemen. The UN says that all warring parties will lay down their weapons before midnight on Wednesday. The conflict pits Shiite Houthi rebels against a Saudi-led coalition, which backs the government. The deal comes... A potential breakthrough in efforts toward peace in eastern Ukraine. German Chancellor Angela Merkel will host talks in Berlin on Wednesday with the presidents of Russia, Ukraine and France. It'll be the first. And we have team coverage of this meeting. Correspondent Hans Brandt is with us in Berlin and Aaron Tilton is standing by in Moscow. And Hans, I want to turn to you first because just walk us through what we can expect from this meeting tomorrow. Well, uh, the four leaders have uh, last met uh, on Ukraine. And Aaron, I want to turn the next question to you, because given the fact that there is that on clarity that Hans has been talking about, can we read anything into the timing behind this meeting? Why is Putin coming to Germany now? Well, really, Russian interest in progress is the political will there. Uh, and Hans, meantime, in Berlin, what do the Germans ultimately want? Well, How important is getting the conflict under control, coming to some sort of political agreement for the future of Europe, Hans? Well, in fact, Hans Brunt in Berlin and Aaron Tilt. Let's get a quick check now of some other stories making news around the world. At least 19 people have died and more than 100 have been injured after a take place in April. We're back in a minute. Don't go away. Welcome back. A quick reminder of our top story. Iraqi... Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull is rejecting criticism of Australia's offshore refugee detention centres. Australia's tough immigration policies, including intercepting migrant boats at sea and detaining refugees. And let's bring in our correspondent, Dieter Herman, now, who is standing by for us in Sydney with the latest on this. So, Dieter, tell us, Australia's government has been on the defensive on this matter. It says that Amnesty's claims are simply false. Does it give any evidence to support that? International has also been quite vocal. It says that it has interviewed hundreds of refugees on Nauru, including children. Let's listen again to what the senior director of research had to say. Have a listen. I so Amnesty talking there about regular assaults, abuse. Um, is there anybody else who has been examining these claims, Dieter? And what does the Australian government have to say for itself? Some then for this restrictive asylum policy, apparently. Um, will Amnesty's report have any consequences? Time for a check of business news now, and our very own Gerhard Elfers is standing by, and he's talking about the fate of the CETA Free Trade Agreement. There's a lot going on in the because it is a long-awaited comeback for one of the private companies that are trying to get into the rocket business. Orbital ATK has successfully launched an unmanned Antares rocket from the it. Incredible stuff there. Before we go, we're going to give you a quick reminder of our top. Thanks for watching. See you next time.